Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making an apple fritters for y'all today. And it's got a lot of ingredients, but, and there's gonna be a lot of steps to it, but I'll let her walk you through it and explain it to you as long as you could follow it along, then you should be able to make it yourself at home. Yeah, we got our, uh, I don't what you call this. I guess induction top Burner. or something. Yeah. Said, yeah, we want to try it out, so. Yeah. We had, this would be the first time that we've used it. So yeah. thank you so much to whoever sent this. That's and right. You know, it does help out a lot too by sitting down. Well, we're gonna do our apple flitters. Uh, somebody sent this to me, I don't know who it was now. But anyway, it calls for one and a half. It says 1.5, that's a half, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, all purpose flour. This is all purpose flour. And of course I use my Hudson cream flour, which they have never sponsored us yet. Yeah. And I use it all the time. Yeah, she's been using it, I guess, her whole All life. Her life, yeah. That's what mom used. So we put that in there. And then we do the sugar. We have uh, one fourth cup of sugar here. You put this in here. And then you have three tablespoons of uh, applesauce. You put that in there. There's one, two, three. You don't have to be exact. Uh, you know me, I like to eyeball everything. So there's that. And then it calls for one teaspoon of cinnamon. So right here's my spoon. One teaspoon. So there's my cinnamon. Put it in there. And then it says, um, it says in a large bowl, combine your flour and your sugar and your baking powder. I don't have no baking powder on that. And salt. It says add the applesauce and cinnamon to dry ingredients and mix it well. So. We're supposed to mix it well. Uh, this is all just the dry ingredients. Yeah, besides the applesauce. Yeah. Two dry ingredients and mix well. And then in another bowl, you're supposed to mix your milk and your eggs and whisk them and then pour them in here. So. We need another little bowl. No, we'll put it in that, uh, that big old uh, measuring cup. Yeah, well, do this. You improvise. You don't need all them bowls. No. So you put the milk in here, and you put two eggs. How much milk was uh, this? One third. One third of a cup of yeah. milk. That was one third. Two eggs. Yeah, two eggs. And you, you beat them together. So you get them all beat up good. And then you pour it in there. So we're gonna pour it in there. It's super yellow for some reason. It looks like mustard. <laughs> That's in farm fresh eggs. They're a little bit stronger than the store bought eggs. You mix this real good. You stir till it's smooth. That's what it says. All this stuff here, besides the oil, is for the glaze. She's gonna be making the glaze here in a minute for y'all. Need a little bit more evaporated milk, some vanilla extract, powdered sugar, and that's it. That and she's gonna make the glaze with that after she puts this in there. And then after we get this all mixed up. See a little bit powdery, so. You know, make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video because she's gonna be reading a few more scriptures for y'all. And this is this two, one. sorry. This is two apples peeled and diced and you put it in there. And you stir it up real good. And I've never made this either, so. I made fried pies 
uh, fried apple pies and stuff like that, but I've never made any fritters. And somebody said they wanted, um, what did I tell you what ago? Some apple um, crisp. And uh, so I have to look for the recipe for it. And then what you do next, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and hit that. And when it gets hot, we're supposed to put this in there. Um, and you can turn the temperature up or down, but it's on 460 right now. Yeah. And you put your oil in it. You put, uh, I done got a little bit of oil in there, so we put a little bit more. So it should have about two inches of uh, oil in it. Yeah, so you just gotta eyeball it. To... Yeah, uh, just eyeball it. If it so. needs a little more, you can just add a little extra after you put that in there. Yeah, and then it says, um, gently fold in the diced apples into the batter until evenly uh, distributed. In a deep saucepan, heat oil two inches deep and drop spoonfuls of the batter into the hot oil and fry them to the golden brown. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, so you just put a, a spoonfuls in there at a time? Yeah. I guess every spoonful that you put in there is going to be like a little pie or something. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me at least. So we'll put this in there. And we'll put another one over here. I think maybe we can get three in here. Earlier when you said when you said the name of it, it sounded like you said flitters. Is it flitters or fritters? Flitter. Fritters. It says fritters. I call them flitters. Yeah, I didn't know which one it was called. I always just called it fritters too, because I don't know, I guess that's just how I say it. And then let me get me a plate to put them on. Do you have to flip them or anything? Yeah, I have to flip them. Yeah, we was wanting to try our, uh, our uh, burner here out. Our... So, they are frying up. And the oil in the pan was already a little bit warm because we tried to figure out how to work this thing earlier and it got heated up, so it was already a little bit warm. Hot. And then you can make your, uh, I can go ahead and start making my uh, glaze for it. Give me my... Uh, you'll need a bowl and a little spoon. Yeah. And powdered sugar. Yeah, you need two cups of powdered sugar, I said. I think that's a lot, but that's what yeah. I said. And you use one third cup of uh, milk. I like my canned milk. I put that in there. This is a evaporated milk, vitamin then, D. Uh, Use half a teaspoon of the vanilla. Vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna guess at it. Hold on, let's see, is it open? I might have got one more that's not open. Yeah, and you could use vanilla extract or vanilla imitation. As far as I know, they're no. the same thing. It's not open. They might be a little bit different, but they seem the same to me. Now, I like the imitation vanilla, but this is the pure vanilla here. So, oops, I just need a little drop or two of that. It'll be extra vanilla. -y. Yeah, and then you just stir this up, and it's all, these are already starting to uh, getting brown. Getting brown. The center of the pan is a. Uh, yeah. That was the first one you put in. It looks like it's already black almost. Yeah, real dark brown. So. Well, those cook really quick, I guess. Yeah, they did cook quick. But this is the glaze that you put on them after you get them out and put them in the platter here. You just mix all that up. Yeah, you just mix all this up till it's real creamy and stringy and you can pour it or dazzle it over your rough letters. Yeah, that's good. It gets hot right now. Yeah, it so, don't take no time. This uh -huh. thing is going. Yeah, that was the first one we put in. We'll put my platter over here. This is the first one we put in. I'm going to turn this one back over. Well, it could be. Well, this one looks like it's done too. Yeah. Let this one cook a little bit more. 
And then all you do is just put them in on the platter, and we're going to try it out and see how good it is when they cool down. I got some scripture I'll read to you. This is uh, Good Friday. So, here's the, the glaze that you put on your fri uh, fritters or fritters. <laughs> It looks like that goat cheese that you use for your rice. I know. <laughs> if y'all don't know what we're talking about, it's called Gordo's Goat Cheese, and it's amazing if you put it on rice. Yeah. So, uh, we'll cut this off now, and we'll, we're just going to show it to you. We'll do the rest of them off the camera. So, we said get them golden brown. Well, it's hard to get them golden brown because it just cooks in an instant. In a minute, yeah. Probably have to learn how to use this. But here's this. I think it's off now. It, it says on. Uh, you might have to hold it to turn it off. We're learning this, y'all. Oh, I have to unhook it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know how to turn it off yet. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was that's off. on. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe that. that's off right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set this on my stove though, just make sure, because it is a steam. Yeah, and these are what they look like right now. Yeah. Now we'll do the rest of them off camera, I guess, so the video won't be way too long for y'all. Yeah. But here's the batter stuff that you put in there. Yeah. And here's what it looks like when you get it out. And we'll put the glaze over while they're hot. I'll read a scripture to them. Then we'll try to uh, taste it and see what they taste like. I don't know how you drizzle it. I like mine a little bit thinner. Yeah, the thinner you get it, the easier it is to drizzle, to it, drizzle it on there. Drizzle it on there, yeah. So there was a lot of that stuff, so maybe they meant for it to be like a glaze and to coat it with it. I don't know. But it just says drizzle it over it. But that's our apple uh, flitters. We'll try them in a minute. But right now, I'll, I'll read to you. We got so much stuff on here. <laughs> yeah, and the whole table is just covered right now. Y'all, we just to try this out, because I've never seen one before. It's the first time i ever seen one. And it, and it does come in handy, don't it, when you have to sit down. Uh, but I done went and got shots in my knee, so I'm doing pretty good now. Somebody told me uh, he had to go every three months to get shots in his knees. It was a year before I went. But anyway, we're going to be uh, in Luke. This morning I read the... Uh, uh, starting with 44 and I went down where he was laid in the tomb So now I'm going to be reading about where he was risen uh, and this will be in chapter 24 It says now up on the first day of the week very early in the morning They came into the sculpture bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them And they found the stone rolled away from the scepter and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus and it came to pass, as they were much perplexed throughout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments, and as they were uh, see, or as they was afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered unto the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the scepter, and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran unto the scepter, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed wondering in himself as that which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went 
that same day to a village called Emmanuel's, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. And they talked together of all the things which they, that had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes was holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as you walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cyprus, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass uh, there in these days? And he said unto him, What things? And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and other rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been in which had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the scepter. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the scepter and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools and souls, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village of whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they contained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it, and it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and broke and gave to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together, and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen. Indeed, he hath appeared to Simon. He has risen. That's right. You know, he, uh, God went to the cross, and he, or Jesus went to the cross and died for us, for our sins, you know. And he went back to uh, his Father in heaven, and then one day he's going to be coming back after us again. You know, when this old wicked world gets so wicked uh, that... Uh, uh, he's going to come back and take his children out of this wicked world because it's going to be so bad. So we better be ready when he uh, comes back to get us, you know, because he's not dead. He is risen and he is alive. Amen. That's right. He's he's alive. I remember we was in church and uh, they sang that song, He is Risen. He's alive. He's alive. And we used to have plays all the time and it was good, but... Ain't no more plays in the churches no more. But anyway, this one lady, she's an elderly lady now. She used to get so happy when they sang that song and say, he's alive. And she just started shouting and running around the church and said, he's alive, he's alive. And I, and that was so, I love seeing her do that, you know. But uh, God is good and he does bless us, you know. And if you've got the spirit of Jesus in you, he will bless you. Uh, but mm -hmm. I... I uh, want to pray for y'all now, uh, all the ones that have sent their um, request in for to be put in the book for uh, prayer. I want to pray for y'all. You know, God wants us to pray one for another. You know, so uh, we need to do that every day. We need to uh, pray one for another. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you, Lord, just loving you and praising you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for us, for loving us so much, Lord, that you went to the cross for our sins, Lord. Lord, and we know that you've risen, Lord Jesus, and one day soon you'll be coming back for us, Lord Jesus, to go to a better place, Lord. Lord, I ask you to touch our YouTube family, Lord. Touch our nation, Lord Jesus, the leaders, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, Lord. Lord, help the people to see that's lost, Lord. Open their eyes up to you to see that they need to be ready to meet you, Lord. 
Lord, in your mighty name, Lord Jesus, meet each and every need, Lord Jesus, of the people out there, Lord. If there's any lost out there, Lord, let them open their eyes up and see that they need you and come to you before it's eternally too late, Lord, because we know you're coming back soon, and if we're not ready, Lord, we won't be going back with you, Lord. But, uh, Lord, I just praise you, and I love you, Lord. I thank you for everything, Lord, for always being there when we call upon you, Lord. Actually, Lord Jesus, touch each one that's in need here, Lord. Lord, you see their needs, you know, if it's financial, health-wise, or whatever it is, Lord. Lord, I ask you to meet their needs. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Lord, you said to pray one for another, Lord, and you would be in the midst, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord. I love you and I honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time he's good. We might go through some bad spells, but he's always there with us and walks us through it. Um, you see, give me that fork, and I'll use that fork to, yeah. It had the egg on it. That's okay. It don't bother me. <laughs> yeah. Some people says that a raw egg could give you salmonella, but that is not true at all. It has to be the raw meat. Yeah. Well, it's soft. There's people that uh, eat raw eggs all the time. There's uh, bodybuilders yeah. that just drink raw eggs. Tastes almost like fried pies. Mm -hmm. Like it's a good. fried apple pie. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like, fried apple pie. Cinnamon taste. Yep, y'all have to try it. It is good. This will be it. <laughs> so y'all have a good day. Have a good Easter. Be sure to go to Sunday school if you can on Sunday. We're supposed to have um, some singers Sunday night coming to our church and singing. So, um, but it's Easter Sunday and we all need to get together with our families and because uh, some, some people don't have family. Some people can't. Um, my children can't come in because they work and they got grandkids and they're out of state. So they come in just about once or twice a year and uh, but they uh, come in in the summertime. So, But if you can get together with your families, have a good time with them. Love them. You know, because you never know when one of you are going to go out. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a point for us to go. You know, we, uh, we ain't promised tomorrow. So we need to uh, be with our families and show them that we love them and honor them and pray one for another, Lord Jesus. You know, God loves us and he wants us to be a happy people. He wants us to be with our families, to enjoy each other, you know. But he also wants us to remember him because Sunday is his day. That's when he arose, uh, you know, uh, died on the cross for us and arose. So uh, we need to love him on Sundays, you know, because it's Easter Sunday. This is Good Friday today. And uh, then Easter Sunday. So y'all go to church. Have a good time with your family and your kids, your grandkids, whatever. You know, if you're by yourself, just talk to the Lord because he loves you. And he's the one that uh, had died for you. And, and he's uh, right there with you, taking care of you. And so uh, that's what it's all about is God's love for the world. So love y'all. Y'all take care. We'll see you in the next video. Well, I guess that's all for this one. Is there something else you want to say? About the merch. Oh. Your merch. Oh, yeah. the If y'all would like to see the merch, it's Mama's merch and their Scrappy merch. There's bags, mugs, T-shirts, aprons, everything you could think of on there that's uh, clothing-wise or merch-wise. And you could find it. on. The, there's a link to it in the description of this channel. It's right underneath where it says Corey Blake at. If you click that link, it'll take you there to the merch shop. And uh, y'all make sure to show some support there if you can. Or at least just check it out and look at it. And uh, we do really appreciate it, and it helps us out a lot. Yeah, or give us some ideas or something, you, you know. know. Something that y'all want to make or see us put on a shirt or a saying or something that y'all yeah. would like to see us make, and we'll make it and put it there on the merch shop for y'all. Yeah. So y'all have a good weekend. Love y'all. Well, I guess that's all for this one. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. God is good. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you.
Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. Almost. It's like a laminated almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens. And it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey. And this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me. And there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer. And uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. Yeah. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it